if you have used Apple's cloud service or played Minecraft, chances are you've encountered the software known as Log4j. Now, the Department of Homeland Security officials are saying a flaw in the software could have widespread security implications. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Dan Halley with this week's tech support. And Dan, you know, a lot of people looking at this saying, well, what, what, what is Log4j? But there's a lot of services that run on it. What's, what's the big risk right now that we're hearing from with officials? So really the big risk is that Log4j is used basically across the entire internet. Uh, and the reason why this is a problem uh, is because of how uh, the software can be exploited. So let me start from the beginning. Basically, Log4j uh, is a piece of software that developers use uh, for logging incidents on uh, apps or programs. So uh, if there's a, uh, an issue where you know a program crashes or there's bugs, they want to get that information back so they can improve their software. And everybody does this. Uh, you know, I mean, it's a common practice. It's how we get software improvements. So uh, this is part of uh, the Apache uh, Software uh, Foundation. It's an open source. It's that's why it's so popular. Uh, it's well respected. But this logging piece of software, in particular, has a flaw that would allow attackers to go in and essentially take remote control over any system using it. Now, uh, we don't have to worry about it on our individual computers because we just don't use it. This is something that large online services use, but because so many use them, we're impacted downstream. Now, let me just kind of give you an idea uh, of what this means. Uh, it really could be used, uh, according to the experts that I spoke to, by attackers to access, say, for instance, a major, major banking institution. They could uh, use this software, uh, insert themselves into this banking institution's networks, and then essentially act like they're on the network. Uh, and they can take, uh, take information from the network. Uh, they can steal user data, uh, basically run amok if they want. Uh, they could do this uh, with email services if they want. Uh, the other issues are the fact that this can then translate into real world harm, uh, not just through obviously the problems that can happen with banking institutions uh, and issues there. But uh, one professor I spoke to said that, look, if there's a generator connected to your network, you can then take control of that computer uh, and disable that generator. Uh, so it can have issues with actual infrastructure, a chemical plant. Uh, you can cause issues at chemical plants. So things like that uh, are really what the problem is here. Now, uh, the other issue is that they're already starting to see exploits used uh, from this flaw. Now, uh, Microsoft has said that they've seen countries uh, ranging from Iran to Turkey to North Korea to China uh, looking at potential ways to figure out how to use this to speed up uh, the use of other types of cyber attacks. And they've seen that from uh, the likes of uh, China and North Korea, uh, sorry, China and Iran already, where they have cyber uh, weapons that they already have, they're using this flaw to make them even more powerful uh, so that they can get access to systems. Now, there is a patch available. So whenever there's, there's an issue like this, any company will release a patch. But here's the thing about cybersecurity. It's not like uh, filling a hole in a wall after you, you know, dent it or something like that, that you can do real quick. This is something that takes a long time because anytime you introduce a new piece of software to these sprawling networks, you have to make sure that it's not going to cause an issue with that existing network. So companies have to test it, make sure it works well. And then some companies, no joke, are just straight up lazy and they don't use uh, the proper cybersecurity practices. And you would think that that's something that would be top of mind for any company at, at this point in time, especially after what we've seen in the past couple of years, but it's not always. Uh, so those are some of the, the real issues. I think for most companies, what we're going to end up seeing is uh, deploying the patches uh, over time, and hopefully uh, they'll be installed by the time some uh, additional issues uh, can't come up. But we've already seen, uh, according to Microsoft, uh, some attackers trying to install crypto miners on systems, trying to steal email information uh, and things along those lines. So uh, I do think that this is going to continue to be an issue for some time. Uh, if any company doesn't patch their systems, then they're basically playing with fire at this point. Yeah, it's been interesting to watch uh, kind of the different levels of uh, responses and obviously wouldn't want to be the IT guy who doesn't have a team to kind of get right on this one. But Dan Halley bringing us the latest there on the cybersecurity front. Appreciate that.